Hey everybody, it's Last Robokai here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neo. I'm joined by Cool Guy, and today we're going up Mount Hiei, the last of the uh, the Kinky Region's <laughs> uh, Oda Nobunaga atrocities. Yeah, this is a good one. Just went by good, I mean fucking awful. One of the big ones. Uh, Mount Hiei was uh, was it was a very one-sided battle. <laughs> uh, largely because um, Mount Hie didn't have uh, a, a huge amount of strength, but as we we've talked about in previous videos, the uh, the the warrior monks that tended to roam around places like these uh, t had a had a bit of a, an issue with uh, Oda Nobunaga and kept raising his ire and kept running back to their temples, and so Oda Nobunaga made a. <laughs> Made a message, uh, and uh, made a and message by making a mess. He killed everybody. Is <laughs> another way to put it. Um, the, mon the, the warrior monks screen. were slain. Any priests, monks, or whatever in the region were slain. Women and children were slain. If you were there on that mountain that day, and a soldier saw you, you you were killed you were uh, you were was, just uh, assumed to be uh, to uh, to have a part in what was going on by proximity that was a new enemy and now it's it dead it was indeed <laughs> foxes have a uh, an interesting place in the mythology in uh, in japan the uh, the idea that uh, a fox spirit gains more tails as it grows older and stronger Eventually becoming a Nine Tails, the ultimate har harbinger of chaos and magical power. I, I've always really appreciated that uh, that the final uh, the final form of a fox is something that uh, that that just causes a ridiculous amount of amount of of, of mischief because uh, because like, like I've I've had this entire family of foxes live uh, live in my uh, in my backyard for uh, for a little while and. They were never, they were never, like, problematic or troublesome, but the, 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 the way, the way they just subtly managed to screw everything up was incredible. Like, like, they, they just absolutely man, uh, managed to get, uh, to get their paws into everything, and it, 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 it just astounded me. And, you know, event, eventually, eventually to, uh, to, to take care, uh, to take care of it. Well, what actually ended up chasing them off was we got a new dog, and that dog was very playful and started yelling at the foxes every single time he went outside. And eventually, they were just like, "This is too much stress. <laughs> I, can't I can't handle all this bark." <laughs> he totally didn't want to hurt them. He like like if, if you looked at them, he was play bowing, and he totally just want uh, just wanted to play. But uh, you know, fox language is not the same thing as dog language. Yeah, and you know, dif different different kinds of beings, wild versus domesticated. Mm -hmm. So I probably should mention the uh, the the big thing. Our friends, the Emrita um, spikes, are back. Uh, there are lots of little lesser Emrita um, spikes around, and when you destroy them, you get a uh, resistance to lightning damage, which is kind of cool. The big ones will often have things uh, spawned near them, and they uh, they heal the enemies here. That are spawned around them, and they also essentially buff their damage as well. So, yeah, I couldn't help but notice that uh, that uh, there were a lot of graves around that one-eyed oni, and we hadn't seen a lot of graves around too many one-eyed oni recently. Ostensibly, by this part in the game, people have gotten used to them. Yeah, you, you know, we, we, that's not to say we still won't see some people die to them, but you know, I mean, they, it, they they can still catch you out. But yeah, you like as you said, you they, they aren't they aren't they aren't quite the the threat they used to be, but buffed up. With the with the Amrita spikes there, they are still still quite a menace, and uh, and also, you know, take far longer to kill because they heal, and that means you can make more mistakes while fighting yep. them and die. And particularly with bu uh, with buff damage, frequently you only need to make one real mistake. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get love tapped. So, the thing about these particular Amrita spikes as well is they will often be blocking our path. Also, a new human enemy type. We have some priests here. Uh, hey they can cast a whole load of different magic, and uh, and will often buff themselves up, summon enemies to attack you, and all sorts of things like that. Not that that guy got the chance to do anything. I'm not complaining. Like any time you do that, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, 
like that one that one bearded dude in the gif who not uh, who nods slowly hey buddy yeah the emeritus the emeritus spikes will will generally speaking have a uh, have a upper part which is quite quite strong quite tough and if you destroy that you get lots of spirit stones and stuff but in the underground here you'll notice they actually got a thinner part of them uh, usually better protected but these enemies aren't buffed by it and you can destroy them and that will actually remove the the enemies that are up the top as well like they will not drop anything they will just vanish but you'll get lots of you know you'll get spirit stones and stuff not as many as you would from up the top though so I'm sort of like well, I'm sorry, let me show that off. As you can see, this one's yeah, buffed. They're rocking defense. and roll with that with that Omnio magic. <laughs> Did he just ho ho at you? I'm yeah, pretty sure ground. that dude it's just ho ho at you. Absolutely covered in little spirit talismans. Look at him. Yep. And there we go. Getting some real corpse party vibes from uh, from those talismans, by the way. Somebody starts praying to Sachiko. I'm out of here. Well, let's just say uh, we will be seeing those in a more active role far later in the game. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that, considering uh, considering the reference I just made. Jesus. Get up, lazy skills. I completely missed that guy. Like, I was not paying attention. I would have stepped directly on him. I trust no skeletons. Later, the Fox. foxes oh. come in uh, come in two sizes as well. We're mostly going to be dealing with the uh, the small sized one for the start. What? It, could you talk a little bit about their threat profile? I'm not familiar with this enemy at all. Yeah, this is a new enemy for you, isn't it? They mm -hmm. they tend to attack in a very in a very sort of straightforward manner. They will hit, try and you know charge at you, roll into you, claw at you. They don't really have any sort of moves that take them from side to side or anything like that. They they like to hit and fade a bit, uh, and and overall they don't have a really overt weak point. Uh, you you don't you know you can't headshot them to take them out of their key or anything like that. There's not really much else to say about them beyond that. They're not an enemy that you'll see a huge amount in this game, and they're not one that re like they're not ever really a threat one on one. They're they're at their best hitting and fading, much like a, a spear skeleton, really. Or or I was I was I'm almost I'm like categorizing them in the same mental box as Oni B from this uh from this particular explanation. Yeah. You'll expend more resources in a one on one fight against the foxes than you will yeah. against an Oni B, but they can, you know they can definitely cause you all sorts of trouble in a in a fight against something else. They're more they're more annoying than uh, than than uh, than than truly dangerous unless they're paired with something else for which they create uh, create a a a what's the word I'm looking opening yeah that's it yeah and we won't see them terribly much uh, in fact I'm not entirely sure they appear much at all outside of this level in the regular game in the DLC levels once you hit sort of the second and third DLC I think we'll start seeing a lot more of them. Because there are a lot more specifically themed uh, mage levels, whereas like we'll see them around Mount Hie because that's where a lot of the mages are. But other than okay. that, you know they're going to be pretty scarce overall. Yeah, all right, that may that makes sense. I'm sitting here. I was sitting here one, uh, wondering why precisely there uh, there would be that particular si uh, situation because it just it seems like a lot of effort to uh, to uh, to make such. Because it, it's it's an it's an interesting en uh, enemy mecha uh, mechanically from <coughs> from your description sim uh, simply because uh, because hit and fade me uh, mechanics are actually quite difficult to code um, from uh, from uh, like a battle ru uh, routine AI per uh, perspective like, like it's yeah. it's pretty it's pretty simple to to make uh, to make an uh, an enemy that effectively is all out attack. That fights defensively. That has has like like a a overall strategy. It's when you have a hybrid strategy like hit and fade that th that things so, uh, start to get weird. Simply be uh, because uh, because generally speaking, you need to start checking uh, checking the enemy's position with regard to the player multiple time uh, times in the middle of a combat, um, and to to make them effective at all. Otherwise, they're just clumsy. Yeah. That said, when they want it, when these ones want to hit you, like when they decide it's time to attack you, they will just basically chase you incessantly until they get to pull their attack off. They will, we'll, we'll hopefully get to see one later. As like when it does, literally that, like it goes quite a distance to get at me. 
I mean, that's just, that's just a lot of uh, of effort for for some uh, something that ostensibly doesn't show up that often. But if it, it like like since it's since it's lim it's linked with with the whole uh, the whole idea of chaos and magic use, uh, use in Japanese mythology, it would make sense that you know they just don't have I don't have that many mage themed levels in this game. I presume because uh, because of that, the priests also don't show up that uh, that terribly often from here on in. We will well, we will see we'll see them dotted around the place because okay. uh, a lot of them will be lured in by Edward Kelly uh, and his promises of of power. Uh, he, he's who we're chasing up the mountain, by the way. Edward Kelly is on his way up the mountain, and uh, our new our new friend, uh, Fuku's teacher Tenkai, is. Uh, is letting us know that that's where he's going, and he needs us to help him because, well, we need, as we've we talked about, waifu back. yeah, um, as we've talked about, um, Mount Kie is a place where a fucking bucket load of people died. We yeah. don't want to. We don't want Edward Kelly playing around in places with lots of Amrita. That's bad. Yeah, yeah, that that is that is literally how Amrita do, and uh, he doesn't need any more than he's already got. He's already got too much, damn it. And Oof. I got cocky. Oh, oh. When you said, uh, you know, people don't don't generally die to the one I'd only at this point in the game, I was kind of laughing under my breath because I knew that was coming. <laughs> mm. Ooh, it hurts. Man. It hurts. That, yeah, that hurts. Luckily, a lot. it's also not that far away. And I mean, if you were gonna die, that was that was definitely one of the better places to do it at. Oh, it was it was great. I see. Of course, you. now you've got to go around and clear the area again. What? Oh, you got what? You got robbed. You had a, yeah, you had a friggin' do. red, uh, red reticle and everything on that cat. Yeah, well, foot shot. Foot shot. The, uh, th that fight is actually still better than the, uh, the Twilight Mission version. The Twilight Mission version, you get a Tenju. <laughs> 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 and I, and basically the Tenju will kill me any, any day of the week. Those, those are hardcore enemies. I don't think I ever got good at fighting them. Man, you you haven't even fought them in some of the bad places the game puts them. Yep, I on, I only fought <coughs> I fought them in like one or two limited situations, and the game gave me plenty of room to move and so forth, simply because it was one of the first times that they, that they were around. Belly flop. How'd that work out for you, dumbass? Yeah, I got incredibly cocky when I was fighting it before. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like. like I mean, I, I just sort of took uh, took it as a as a as a given that you were gonna do some uh, some bullcrap, you know, frame perfect dodge away from him just because <laughs> I've seen you do it a thousand times at this point. And then uh, then I, then he I he literally. I don't boxed think I even tr showed the animation of me trying to dodge. Yeah, like he just he literally boxed your ears, li li like slapped his hands on either side uh, either side of your head, right over your ears, and then just kept going. And it, so that's it that's a bad going. idea there. Please, please, that 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 fight there is just a, is a bad idea. Don't, yeah, that that looks pretty terrible. Don't go fighting, fighting don't go fucking fighting angry boy. lightning monks alongside angry, because angry and rid of fiends. Because it's just like no. So what we want to do is we'll just <laughs> right we'll just, near right near a bunch of crystals too, which were conveniently you know yeah, hidden they're, from, they're uh, from all, your immediate view. Yeah, they're all getting buffed as heck from that. Dear they're, they're God. So let's just go down. Yeah, that uh, that seems that seems like a prudent thing to do. Bit rude. Very rude. Should have stayed down like a bopper. That's a cool ass for uh, freaking outfit you have on, by the way. Like, I think yes. the cape really makes it for me. Yeah, I love I love the cape. We'll be we'll be getting we'll be getting dressed into more mage gear soon because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be dropping a lot in this level and the and the spirit defense bonus. Because I'm like keeping my defense, my spirit high, in order to show off like all the full the full things on all of them. Yup, yup. Yeah, they're uh, you know like I'm getting the most out of that that B minus defense bonus. I'm not even sure like if that line is correctly translated or not, or if it's alluding to who Tenkai really is, which would mean that people know who Tenkai really is, which which to me doesn't seem right. So. I didn't get that. Like, like, like I, I've, I keep, I keep get, uh, getting a number of, a number of sentences in Japanese as, w as we go because, you know, like, like I'm able to occasionally pull one out of the ether. I didn't get that one at all. 
<laughs> I yeah. am not too proud to admit that. Like his his fame was about to return. Yeah. Yeah. Like I I I didn't I didn't un like that that sentence flew completely over my head. I really need I really need to go uh, go back and just buckle down on it again because uh, because like I probably I, if I if I refreshed my memory on, on it and worked hard at it for a couple of months I probably could I uh, could get I uh, get like my first level Japanese um um qualification but eh, doing a hundred other things. With what time? Ah, yeah. uh, dear. I still love that. I still love that Adachi attack I picked up. It's so good, man. Just, just, just like the, the, the three the, swings. Yeah, the 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 hairline flick is basically the way the way I've cate categorized it in in, in my brain. Because like, all, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, William is just using this this Odachi, this like probably close to. 12 15 pound sword by uh, by the way and he just he's just got perfect leverage on it and boom you know just just it he flicks it up like it's 10 to, uh, 10 to 15 ounces rather than 10 to 15 pounds just gorgeous <laughs> oh man I had the flower petals <laughs> that, is, that is that is a yoki that that just should have stayed in bed this morning I always love it when uh, when a Yoki just uh, just gets stuffed on his uh, on his 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 entrance theme. I don't care that that he almost he almost killed you in revenge. It was still just beautiful disrespect. In, in my head at that point, I was thinking to myself, "Yeah, I would deserve that for that." Getting cocky. This freaking guy over here. Yeah. Sam Ritafiend. Sam Ritafiend. Doing, I'll doing... never, I'll never get used to the Emirate of Fiends having this lunge attack of theirs. I hate it so much. They, they charge up this, because the range on that shockwave is absolutely Ooh. just awful. Look at this. Like wow, that, that is just. It's like see, look at that. Good lord, that's over twi uh, twice the twice the length of his weapon. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'll never get used to that. Also, um, apparently we both got lightning resistance from that thing getting destroyed near us. <laughs> that makes okay, me laugh. Okay, sure, why not? So that takes care of the guys that were upstairs. Wonderful. Hey! Hello, Kodama. Yeah, lots you of You being dudes cute there, here. buddy? Seems like you're doing your job. He's hiding on this bookshelf. It's the safest place to be. Yeah, and he's, he's busy being effing adorable. I like this level. It's not a long level by any stretch, but they managed to do a really good job with it being an overground and an underground. And so each of these areas is sort of like compact, but still feel like you're traveling great distances. And you can go through, you can go through much of the stages above ground or below ground and ignore either. And it's you know I like that. Really? Because I mean, like I'm not I'm not immediately seeing how uh, how like the individual areas are are uh, are are handled. Um... To, are, are like are like connected below ground in particular you know that's that's because I'm doing a lot of doubling back so that I can show off these areas man I, yeah I was gonna I was gonna say I really appreciate except like like the variety that, uh, that they're allowing with uh, with 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 you being uh, you having to go above ground and below ground a fair bit oh good I was about to say I Nearly missed a cadaver. <laughs> I was like, I would never forgive myself if I missed it's that fine. guy. It's fine. He's just sitting there being adorable, and now you told him to go be adorable at his shrine. You boner. <laughs> you think they would give us a chest without a surprise skeleton? You fool! You literal boner. You are a a a, a skeleton, so you are a literal boner. That would have got me, by the way. Like I, I, I consider that the prank shrine. I don't think there's an instance whenever we do any of these levels where there's not like somebody nearby who's gonna like be ready to pounce on you for trying to go in there. I, I feel like I feel like it's I feel like it, it's intentional that that they used a nice dodge, by the way. That was poetry in motion. Um, that that they used a a skeleton there just uh, just because of the death's head grin as he's doing that. He's literally grinning to himself all the time, and he can't help it. <laughs> 
Oh, man, speaking of poetry in motion, that Dweller getting out of certain death for a second there. Crap. Yeah, they, that, they, they do tend to do a good transition to, to dodge. Um, when At you hit them a few times, when they go into their, when they go into their, you know, hands and knees. Oof. God, that is such a beautiful move. Yeah. The, like, uh, the Odachi is just my favorite weapon, because it's as you said, you're you've reason. got this giant hunk of, of beautiful metal, and you just, and just you you're weave it. You're flicking it around like, like it's made of balsa wood. <laughs> probably would have betrayed you to be honest yeah that too you know i i did i that, that was an accurate translation by the way i got that i got that sent uh, sentence and uh i'm just i, I was kind of I, I genuinely i genuinely find that statement really weird like if only if, I mean, I, if only lord mitsuhide was alive okay all right i don't see how that would have helped but you know i mean the these are people who are familiar with the tactical picture and not the strategic picture. That's that's the excuse that I'm giving them. True enough. So yeah, we could have circumvented most of this direction that we've taken up. Because um, as you might have seen, there was a tunnel there. I did see that as it came out near the shrine. Yeah, I ignored. I, I looked up there, ignored it, and doubled back to, to come up here much earlier. So as I said, you could ignore this entire area progress upwards by by going underground... You, you know, you don't even have to deal with that spike if you really don't want to. I mean... But it's, items. That kind, yeah, that kind of, well, Not just that, I, I feel like it kind of makes you an objectively bad person if you're just like, hey, there's a ton of Amrita he, uh, here that, uh, that you know, some objectively evil and malicious things are, u are using to murder the crap out of people. I'm just going to ignore that. Yeah, no, uh, not my problem. This not one's a lot problem. harder to ignore. That one, that one's kind of in the middle of everything. I agree. This this one you can't really circumvent, um, because <laughs> I mean you can go around it definitely, which is what you know, I'm, what I I'm doing. I really love how how they use the how they use um, fire arrow, uh, arrow skeletons as as like a way for for you to more explicitly tell where you're being shot from, and just sort of conveniently ignore how how bloody annoying logistically fire arrows are so the that emrita spike blocks off the entirety of that area like from uh, from that pathway so you don't have to fight the oni uh on one side or and you don't have to fight the fiend on the other side the fiend also has a skeleton backing it up down there which can make it a bit annoying but we can just ignore all of them and keep going because they're not one looking. two three go jeez louise so speaking of being an objectively terrible person, did you just do exactly what uh, what I what I what I said was awful? Because I feel no, like because I'll just be doubling did. back. I'll be doubling okay. back to go down All and right. destroy the Great. the Amrita from down below. I will. I, I will. I will trust you on that because it feels and, like you were and just like you eh. can't call me a coward because I'm going to be fighting something soon. Oh, something. So th I feel like this is a big s. Okay, that's a big s something. All right. <laughs> Okay. There's a fucking new egg just just <laughs> chilling out about here. Just just you know, just just fucking hanging out there. You know, in a small a small room. The slow uh, dawning realization of what of the, the horror that is to come. You no, know, like like uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry yeah, about there, it. There's 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 a small amount of satisfaction I feel every time I, I see you I see you you put plop uh, William down into a hot spring just because I'm just like, you have earned that, buddy. You have earned that uh, that delightful soul uh, soul and body refreshing bath. And we need to get, we need to deal with the new way too, because there's Ember to spike in that room and that's the only way to get down into that chamber. Oh good. That chamber's got stuff in it. Hell like, we, could, we can breath. ignore the new way and try and destroy the crystal. Like try and destroy the big spike, but that's easier said than done. So it's actually you know better to kill the new way. Plus, there is a, there is a good reason to fight the new way. There is an achievement for defeating the new way on Mount Hiei. All right, that's 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 all I needed to hear. <laughs> an achievement, a challenge, a challenge. Is this an anti headbutt shield that people are daring me to headbutt? And, and on top of that, um, there is a chance, and although it hasn't happened yet, um, the Nui can drop a, a headpiece. 
that you can then use for the purposes of, uh, of you know, clamoring. And it is the new A mask. I'm gonna be honest with you, I completely did not interpret that as a fox for about the first three or four moments. And I thought that uh, that was that was another that was another Omeo monk that was God damn boy, chill down. Yeah, um, but you can sort of see what I mean by the hit and fade. Yeah. Because the three leaps in, a somersault tends to run backwards. There's but the once ticket. you catch them in a combo, they don't they don't do so well. Yeah, living living weapon was definitely the correct call there. Yeah, um, it was just like I'm not getting through these guys easy. Yeah, that was that was a very chill down and calm out sort of moment there uh, there for those enemies. Anyway, um, the heck was I saying? Um, no, I've completely forgot uh, forgotten now that 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 Gary, and he. So he doesn't want want neutral behavior. So you've basically got okay. He's got a, he wants hostile behavior. So I have to wait a few seconds. Yeah, you have, do you have to wait for his eyes respond. to chill out. There's the ticket. Here we go. I feel like it's it it says something about you that for most of the new Rekage that uh, that you've come across so far, you've always attempted to be friendly first. Like I, I, resistance. I'm pretty like maybe there's once that you've tried uh, you've tried uh, you've tried neutral before uh, the first, but you know most like like 95 percent of the time you've attempted to be friendly with them. Just psychological things that I've noticed. Oh, I'm a friendly guy. Mm-hmm. Can confirm. We we opened up the shortcut there to the. Uh... Oof! Oof! Yeah. Dude, he yeah. He remember, this guy's that one, one that spawned from a from a yokai mist, so he's actually a lot stronger than you looks. Yeah, but, he poised through that one. But can he poise through this? I mean, he did poise through it. He just didn't. He just didn't live through it. Yeah. Those are those are two very distinct things. I mean, the answer was always going to be yes. Eh. Open the box. G give me them chest meats. Yeah, but like, I, I, I love how Chase it didn't beats, even real, uh, really bother to show what uh, what happened because it was it was obscured by, uh, behind another layer and the game bugged out just just a slight bit. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was chest meats, and that matters. Like chest meats are what we're here for. Damn it! And so by by wiping out that uh, and having that shortcut, we've got a path that essentially bypasses all that stuff down there. And could take us straight up to the boss. So that when we die is our path straight to the I, boss. I noticed and the usage of the ter uh, of the word when. <laughs> you know, I noticed people are going I, to I people are going to die to bosses. That was the thing that you said. And, and people are going to make really terrible decisions on what they can get away with, and yep. and die and die to other things as well. Yep. Yeah, I I, I kind of figured that was probably going to happen after that that Amrita fiend just. Just he basically split your skull in two. So like, easy to forget that they hit so hard. Oh man, they, they they hit so hard. See, as you can see, you can just swoosh straight through. They don't see you. That's, that's there's no enemies in this direction. I'm fine with that. Like like let's let's. Uh, Neo has let, some nice boss up. runs. Neo has some nice boss runs once you get them get get them unlocked. Of course, it's not to fight a boss. I'm just killing clearing these guys out. So on the on the very slim chance that. I can somehow attract them into the new A pit, and I don't want that. Hold on, hold on. Let me just give it. Let me just get my tiger. That, yeah, I was gonna say, is that fire tiger, by the way? Because that looks like fire tiger. We're using. Uh, is... We're using. I knew it was. Masses. I knew it was. I, I figured it was fire, but you know, I just wanted to be sure here. I, I will admit, this is the most trouble these foxes have given me in the entire game. I mean, that's a very nar a narrow. I mean, th this is basically where they would be strongest, considering the threat profile that you told uh, you told me earlier. Fast attack. Oh, I just attacker. mean like in all the times I've been playing Neo, this is the most trouble they've ever given me. I mean, if if it's gonna if it's gonna be that, it's gonna be here. Narrow cor uh, corridor, hit and fade atta attacker paired with uh, with a strong striker. L luckily, luckily for me, for some reason, the Ember of Fiend um completely lost interest for like no reason. A critical brain failure. Like, this I'll is... take it. Okay, man. Whatever, dude. Shwa. That was... Head goes that off. was very silly on his part. 
Like, that yeah. was fatally silly on his part. The okay. Joker is taking notes. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's yep. think about this, this is, for a few seconds. What is, am I going to need to do this? This is a big T thing. Got my pal pills. Uh-huh. Gonna need... What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? People are like, why haven't used the sandalwood splinter yet? Excuse me, I'll use those things a good time. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Earth amulet. This is a man that, like, those are strategic resources, and this man will use them strategically. This is a tactical situation. There we go. Okay. Now I'll you have small living weapon. To get my, my amrit up, my, like, yep, my meter up for living full. weapon. Power pill. Taking my drugs. I've got my thing. Rock and roll! This thing's key is incredible, I know! Let's go! And it is, it behaves like the, it behaves exactly like the, uh, the, the new, new way does when we previously know it. This one's gonna be a bit more, uh, more spicy with its tail. Damn decent of, ne of Nekomata to warn us, by the way. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Yeah, I think it is stronger than the uh, the new A of previous. Obviously, it would have definitely. To be because... Like, like he, like, like. I mean, I, I've all, I've only been casually keeping track of the damage that uh, that you've been do you've been doing it, but like the damage that you've been doing it is easily like twice as much, and it, it's it's still it's still reasonably healthy. So like this this bad boy is very tough compared to the new A you fought before. In terms of damage, difficult to tell. You actually haven't gotten hit that much yet, which uh, is something I encourage you to keep up. Yeah, and as you can see, the, there was now a poison he's... attack there, which yep. uh, I yep. don't have any any poison stuff on, so it's just a really didn't poison okay. me. Okay, I've destroyed a crystal, so I've got <coughs> the damage is the damage from the tail swipe is relatively uh, similar, if my memory serves me correctly, which I feel like it does in this particular situation. Yep, there's the. Dual attack. Okay, the damage is re is relatively similar in a in a relative sense, which means he's probably hitting at least twenty five to thirty percent harder because you are at least twenty five to thirty percent tougher. Anyway, you took care you took care of him. These this has just been my slippy toed <laughs> enemy shield analyzed while we're we're in we're in the fight here. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I like this cover analysis because there was, I was anything but like, like <laughs> controller clenching, uh, <laughs> like just like teeth grinding, just going, oh god, I fucking hate fighting the new A. Yeah, the new no. A is my personal hell. Go away, stop. The the bit the big thing the big thing you you can at least count on from my perspective is that I will not five mi uh, five minutes from now be asking you to Fox get this guy off me. <laughs> As you can see this this motherfucker right here is just way this too is much annoying because like like you ba you you basically got it you just didn't quite have enough key to do it. Yeah. As you can see, we got way more stones from damaging it up the top than we did from damaging it down below. Yeah, that's, that, there's our reward. We get a, a nice room full of stuff. I don't think that spike buffs the new A either. No, it definitely doesn't because he wasn't getting health back. So, thank God for that at least. I bet you, I bet you they did that in testing and someone went, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> Some tester just, I just spent like an entire afternoon shift on it and was, be, was basically just like, "Stop, just stop." <laughs> Why you hurt me so? <laughs> That's it. We've we've uh, we've cleared out the problem. I'm like, wait a minute. I should go back and restore my elixir because we have we actually have an actual actual boss to and face you, now. You did use a fair amount of elixir on the on that 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 dude because did you see that fight? I did. <laughs> yeah, I was chugging. Yeah, that's it's, uh, I, it's like I, nice to have that much elixir. So yeah, good. Yeah, no, that was that was that was legitimate. Like, I have to always make sure I'm getting as much out of the uh, out of the elixir bonuses from the uh, I think it's from the ninja tree as I can manage. All right, it's time, boss time. What do you boss think we're gonna time. fight at the top of this mountain? What do you reckon we're gonna fight? What do, what do I reckon we're gonna fight? Well, we're chasing Kelly, so it's gonna uh, gonna be a, gonna be a, another 
Ke- it's going to be an, another Kelly inspired thing. That has tr- uh, that has up to this point meant some some le- uh, some kind of clone of a historical figure, but we're not actually ta- chasing a historical figure unless we want to count Tenkai. So if it mu- like my guess, I'm going I'm going to put out is uh, Edward Kelly impersonating Tenkai. There's <laughs> there there's my guess. And for, a se- oh. for for some reason, because like in my head, I was just imagining like giant marshmallow man Tenkai. <laughs> I don't know why, but because, I just had a Tenkai like, like I had a marshmallow recently? man in like that silly fucking hat with the yeah. glasses. I'm just like, oh my god, my brain. <laughs> Have you watched Ghostbusters recently? Because that would explain it. Uh, they've re-released one of, like, at the time I'm talking about, they've re-released one of the older console games uh, versions of it. We need, to watch, we need to watch Ghostbusters, like, sometime soon, buddy. I've always re- uh, really loved, even, like, like, as time goes on, I, watch, I re-watch Ghostbusters 2, and there's that, that, that interaction between... Uh, uh, there's like that the interaction between... That Oh, yeah, I'm holding the thought, okay. This isn't fair. This is the this is the most colossally unfair fucking thing I've seen in a very long time. So you were kind of right. We were going to be facing a traveling companion, somewhat a, a corruption of this traveling companion. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how Edward Kelly do. I just I, I missed the target. It wasn't Tenkai. It was Nekomata. Yep. This and is, he has this... become one of the four cardinal gods, the White Tiger, joining the ranks of the Black Tortoise, the Vermilion Dragon, and the Red Phoenix. This is this like I I am I'm a little bit wrecked right now. Like, I was go I was going to recite this ent- that entire interaction between uh, between Bill Murray and Sigourney Weaver, and I just like no no. Uh, my, it is <laughs> no. it has been it's it has now. been complete it's been completely overtaken by the tragedy of our cool cat bro Nekomata be, uh, being destroyed uh, being destroyed like this through noble sacrifice like, and I am I am fighting I am fighting the white tiger fairly fairly wrong at this point in time it must be said um, how so mostly mostly in, in relation to those lunges I am dealing with that entirely the Uh-oh. wrong way and it's going to cost me yup I, I saw you run a uh, run out of key and I was just like nope 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 because the, because they're not they're not lunges like the way the new way does where they where he, where he directs them at you, and then they'll pass by you and end up on the other side of you. They are stomps. They are not. They are not swipes. They are stomps. So he comes down right over you onto that location, and it has a bit of an AOE to it. So I fast forward in time. I I use the summoning candle to get things back. And hey, look, a ninja trick. He threw explosive uh, exp- explosive kunai. We I will get the- my brain in order. Who's in a moment. we, Kimosabe? <laughs> oh, I suppose I suppose that that's I suppose that uh, that uh, that's weird because you know the 
the Kimosabe is the one who's handling the problem. Well, what's happening right now is, um, like, also, I laser beam. <laughs> I laser! It's actually good we've got we've gotten to do this fight twice, because we had chewed through a lot of White Tiger's health, and that meant a lot of stuff hadn't been shown off. Including the way the eye beam works, which God, he sweeps it quite a few times in different directions. And yes, the the eye is a weak point. Yeah, and he exploit. does so from uh, from his from his eye patched eye. Like that is such a cool detail. As you can see, by striking it when he was doing the attack, much the same way striking the new way's belly, you can get onto that. The uh, Fuku Fuku and Tenrai are actually trying to seal the 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 giant hole that of 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 grudges that have been, like, <laughs> that has been popped off by motherfucking Kelly. Who, by the way, didn't know that was going to happen and was just there for the Amrita, but was like, actually, that's cool, thanks. I mean, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I maintain who's we, cause with, with the Kibosabe doing it this time. Uh, and I nearly I, make I, the I, same mistake again. Yeah. I get come very on, lucky on, that he okay, was out of, thank uh, God he, he was, was out he was as, as well. He was, he was tanked as well. There we go. That's it. That is not fucking fair, man. We like, like we've been we've been, <laughs> been chasing after waifu all this time. Now we lost uh, we lose husbando in the middle of this. This is not effing fair. Anyway, I should I feel like I should explain what the, that that dumbass reference I was making real uh, real quick. Who's we Kimosabe was what Tonto would frequently say to the Lone Ranger when uh, when when the Lone Ranger was like, "Hey, we're going to we're going to do this, uh, do this thing." And Tonto wasn't into it. Kimosabe is the Native American word for white man. <laughs> yep, so uh, we've we've unfortunately lost Nekamata. He won't be popping up to tell us interesting things anymore as Damn we it. go around. This is this is not effing fair. He was he was a good husbando, and I will remember him. And as a matter of fact, Edward Edward Kelly, I got I got one little frickin' thing for you. Not even death can save you from me. But yes, we have def we have defeated the demon of Mount Hie, but at what cost? Next time, we'll be revisiting the mountain. I've been the last Robokai. And I have been Cool Guy. And we'll see you all next time. <laughs>